and welcome to the next part of our onboarding series. Today you'll learn how to make the most out of V-Ray's material customizations and take advantage of the extensive library of material assets in Chaos Cosmos. An important part of creating a 3D scene is working with materials. To make things easier, let's set V-Ray's standard shader as the default material. Click on Customize from the menu bar, and then Custom Defaults Switcher. Select Max.V-Ray from the default setting chart and click Set. The changes will take effect after you restart 3ds Max. As you can see, all of the shader swatches in the Material Editor are now V-Ray materials. Of course, if you want to create a material from scratch, you can always do it by clicking the sphere icon in the V-Ray toolbar. This automatically creates a gray V-Ray material. Of course, you can play around with the settings, but it is a lot easier to use one of V-Ray's material presets. They give you a really good starting point. Now you can apply your shader to see how it looks, and then tweak some things like the glossiness to achieve the result you like. Now you can select another object and assign a different V-Ray material to it. This time, why not try out the glass preset? That looks good, doesn't it? A better way to visualize complex shaders is using the Slate Material Editor. This is a node-based material editor. A great source for materials is Chaos Cosmos. Cosmos is a 3D asset library with categories full of various shaders. To use them, just click the download icon and then drag and drop into the viewport. Sometimes shaders need a bit of alignment to fit our geometry. Just like any other materials from Cosmos, you can edit materials in the material editor with just a few simple clicks. It's good to know that Cosmos materials also come with a few different modes. For example, we can import them with triplanar mapping instead of the regular UV mapping. That way, we can shade objects that haven't been unwrapped. The control over the mapping is a bit different than that with UVs, since you have to set the size of the texture on the surface and not the repetition. Now that you know the basics of working with materials in V-Ray, you can shade any object and give it a realistic look in no time. 